forward crossovers. The key to good forward crossovers is power in each stride. We want to get the same amount of power on our outside foot push as we do our under or our X push. We want level shoulders and we want skates on the ice. For players, we want to avoid running, hopping, or jumping. The more comfortable players are on their edges, especially their outside edge, the better crossover skater they're going to be. We're going to break down crossovers into a three-step progression and start that explanation here. This will help coaches teach crossovers and players learn crossovers. The first step, if we're using a circle, which is a great way to learn crossovers, is you want shoulders turned in so you can see the player's emblem on their jersey, and we want their eyes toward the center of the circle. So if a coach wants to stand in the middle of the circle, it's a great place to be to check players' eyes and their upper body. A good tool or a prop is to ask them to put their stick on their inside hip, one hand in front of the hip, one hand behind the hip. If their stick is parallel to the ice and level, and their hands are on their stick, then their shoulders should be level, and that's what we're looking for in crossovers. As opposed to a common error is to dip that inside shoulder when doing crossovers, and that makes players more likely to fall and be off balance. So, level shoulders, level stick, stick right on that hip. Step one is gonna be the outside foot push. That outside foot push is the same as a forward stride push. Full extension with a toe flick, toe pointing outside the circle, laces pointing up at the finish of the stride. Here we go, step one in the forward crossover progression. Outside foot push, eyes to the middle, shoulders to the middle, outside foot push, deep knee bend. The inside foot traces the line of the circle. Outside foot push, outside foot push, outside foot push, outside foot push. Outside foot push. That gets the players started with the first stride in crossovers. The next step is going to be simply adding that cross under push. That push is going to be a ride the outside edge and then push off of the outside edge. So now we're going to keep the stick where it was for proper posture and then have both pushes. For step two, here we go. Ride, push, ride, push, ride, push, ride, push. Deep knee bend, keep the shoulders level. Ride, push, ride, push, ride, push, ride, push, ride, push. Step two complete. Now step three. When skating crossovers in a game situation or in practice, if we're going around circles or dots, we do want to ask our players on the finished product to have two hands in the stick, stick on the ice, and stick out in front. So we want to maintain the same posture we've been talking about with our stick on the ice and two hands on it. So step three of this drill would be outside foot push, inside foot push. Same posture with level shoulders, eyes in the middle of the circle, good knee bend, same amount of power on the each push, and that's it. Forward crossovers.